I, I like to think of the point of putting beer in the barrel is not to age it, it's to allow it to mature. Uh, every now and then we're lucky enough to go around and taste through what we have and do a little preview sampling. So if you're up for it, why don't you come along? All right, so this went in in June of 2020. This is the third barrel that this beer has been in, shooting out like a laser. But it's got a beautiful color, it's narwhal. For me, nar barrel aging narwhal it transitions from a bitter chocolate to a sweet chocolate in about a year. Getting some notes from the rum, just, just uh, some nice subtleties there. And then a uh, big, big fruit component that uh, I'm attributing to the port wine. There's none of the lingering bitterness from the dark malt, it's all transitioned to uh, beautiful sherry type age character. The wine notes coming through, uh, it's, it's really fantastic. This is one that I'm gonna have trouble letting go of, so maybe I'll just keep it. These are these are Colombian rum barrels. This went into the barrel in October of 2019, so it's, it's well over a year old now. What's hot? It's it's it's. It's definitely boozy. I'm gonna guess this is north of 13%. It just smells like chocolate and rum. It's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. It's a different spirit, and it, it really lends different character to the beer, which to me is really amazing uh, because Narwhal itself, just base Narwhal, is a beautiful, huge Imperial Stout. And that subtleties from different barrels could even have an impact on the beer that big, uh, it, to me is still pretty incredible. This is our wall of Bigfoot. Bigfoot is one of those beers that is uniquely appropriate for barrel aging. That color continues to develop over time. And all that time, those caramel characters are getting concentrated, uh, getting enhanced. From the extended boil, three hours of boiling, you're getting a lot of a big burnt sugar character. Molasses, toffee, pure caramel with a warming alcohol bite. That's something pretty special. And that's that's four years in the making just in the in the barrel. I would love it if we could sneak this out as a uh, as a one-off run of some really, really special extra aged Bigfoot because it's it's pretty spectacular. So uh, right here we have a barrel aged Blondale. We call it our barrel blonde. Uh, we put it into port barrels. Um, then added a, a fair amount of raspberry to it, on top of which when this gets all blended up we were going to put uh, a bit of peanut butter into it and kind of go with uh, the peanut butter jelly-esque beer. Nice jammy, kind of bit of a raspberry smell to it. Come along really, really nicely. The idea behind this beer is a maple donut beer. Nice, like I said, a bready kind of a, a the nose with the beer, with a little bit of the sweetness from the maple coming through, which is really nice, actually, so far spot on. I think this one will be really nice, but very much a work in progress. We'll keep it going. I'm thinking right now adding a little bit more maple syrup to this eventually. Uh, we'll see where it goes.